Can you see me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening. Welcome to Decision Making 2020. We heard today on the news that good old Joe Biden, Sleepy Joe, welcome to Ohio, Joe, when you're in Iowa. Good old Super Thursday, Joe. It's Tuesday, Tuesday, Joe, Tuesday. Biden. And the black kids are just as smart as the rich kids, Biden. And if you don't vote for me, Joe Biden, you're not black, Joe Biden. And we hear that he outraised Donald Trump. Now, there's something funny about that, because before Donnie had let that happen, he'd slide one of his own personal checks into the pot. And I'm thinking, how on earth could he possibly outraise Donald Trump? I got to thinking. What's going on right now? What's the biggest movement on earth? It is the Democratic, George Soros-funded Black Lives Matter. The second strongest is also a George-funded, George Soros-funded organization called Antifa. Now, their training grounds for both in America just happen to be Seattle. How convenient! Uh, they killed somebody, we don't know, they wouldn't allow the police in to investigate the murder. So there have been two black people shot, one killed for sure. I've heard it was done by a white guy in Seattle. In Seattle. It's not Seattle though, it's that new country within Chaz. the country, it's Chop, Chaz. They don't want to call it Chaz because that's some character that lived in his mama's basement and that's too close to home for every single stinking one of them. They're all a bunch of dope heads running around there during the day and then they start shooting and beating people up and mugging and robbing people at night. The people that live there are scared to death. So, I, you know, I got to thinking black lives matter. Uh, that means brown lives don't matter and light brown lives don't matter, and dark brown lives don't matter, and white lives don't matter, yellow lives don't matter, red lives don't matter, only black lives matter. It's the most racist thing I've ever seen. So I went to check out their web page here. This is the Black Lives Matter web page. Let's see if we can get this thing here going. There we go. Black Lives Matter. Now, if you want to donate to this and help out the black folks, see, they got a lot of, they got black folks on their page there. There's your donation. They want you to fund the movement. Now, I want to fund this movement and help out black people. But if we look at chapter two here, it says Act Blue Charity is a registered charity organization. And you do a little bit more due diligence on that, and you check out their terms and their conditions, and there's their Act Blue page. And that's got a lot of rigmarole on it. So you go to opensecrets.org. Okay, this is a real page. Center for Responsive Politics. And you do a site search for Act Blue. Oh boy. And here's what you come up with. Here's your open secrets. Act Blue. Media campaign expenses. Undisclosed contributions. Classified rent. Rent? There's no rent in Seattle. It's all free. They commandeered the land. How are they paying $196,000 in rent? Travel and lodging, 70000 They're staying at nice hotels. Malicious administrative, 47590 I wonder if that's for bricks and mortar and stones. You know, like pencils and paper. Okay. Now, campaign events and activities. Mailings. They're not big on mailings. They're only using $680 for mailings. Their fundraising, though, is a couple hundred thousand. They do put a hundred dollars on media. That's when they do their their campaigns and they have their illegal meetings. Now their salaries are only one point eight million. I wonder who's getting paid that. Now then, 
top vendors and recipients. What do we got there for number one? The DNC, Democratic, Democratic Congressional Campaign. So when I give money to black Democratic Senatorial Campaign. Elizabeth Warren from Massachusetts. Democracy America. Democratic Party of Wisconsin. Jim Graves for Congress. Ain't no black people getting a dime of this money. Okay? So we'll go back here to the front one, to the first one. Black Lives Matter. And let's see. How do we hit back on this? It's been a while. I haven't had a laptop in about four years. So here we go. Now we're on Black Lives Matter, but you see, they really don't matter. And I like how they got on their pictures here. They got a picture of quite a few black folks that are standing up to say black folks matter. Those are your paid ones. But your money is going to. Okay, but your money is not going to black people. It's going to the Democratic Party. About BLM. It was funded in 2003 in response to the acquittal of Trayvon Martin's murder. Black Lives Matter Foundation is a global organization, U.S., U.K., and Canada. Its whole mission is to eradicate white supremacy and build local power to intervene in violence inflicted on black communities by states and vigilantes by combating and countering acts of violence, creating space for black imagination and innovation and centering black joy. We are winning immediate improvements in our lives. Please, someone in the comment section, tell me one thing Black Lives Matter have done to help out black people. Please, leave it in the comments. I will wait. Join this movement to fight for freedom, liberation, and justice. But the, money goes to the but the money goes to the Democrats. That's why Seattle's got their little chaz going there. That's their training area. I'm sure they're getting well funded. George Soros takes very good care of his people. That's why when, like, Jesse Smalley did not do his thing so good on... Um, on the black on uh, on the two white guys robbing him at 2 a.m. when it was 20 degrees below zero in Chicago. That's 80 percent Democrat. He ran into the only two white rednecks on earth. And when his little fake deal didn't go too good, George Soros, who you can check in 2018, put. $400,000 in the non-prosecuting attorney's campaign fund. Kim, he gave her a phone call and said, you got to let my boy off. He kind of screwed up. He messed up this whole deal. So she gives him a free pass. 16 felonies. He didn't do so much as one hour of community service. Well, now that's all getting relooked at, okay? George Soros was behind that. He's behind Antifa. He's behind Black Lives Matter, okay? Just, I, I've been searching, my Bible's over on the other end of the bed there, and all day long, I've been looking where it says that we're supposed to bow down and, and rebuke our white privilege, like they got people doing across the country, Black Lives Matter. I'm sorry, I take a knee for God or Jesus. I will not get down on my knees and say, I'm sorry for my white privilege to anyone, never. And for the congressman from Minnesota, Ilmar Omar. This is white man, that one white man that will never bow down to Allah. But you will never put me in chains. Like you said, all white men must be put in chains because they will not bow down to Allah. Some people did some things. This guy will never bow down to Allah and you will never put me in chains. Because people are going to find out about you and how you hate America as you're trying to take away their police department and the single mothers and the battered women and the abused children, the domestic violence. Who's going to take care of that? 
All these women that get killed by their estranged, crazy husbands, you're going to send in a social worker for a madman with a gun that's hell-bent on killing everyone? Good luck with that, okay, folks? Your defunding of the police is a joke, all right? We need to reorganize and retrain our police departments. No one would disagree with that. But the looting and the burning, you know, what happened to Mr. Floyd never, ever should have happened. It was atrocious. It was an atrocity. I can't stand to see it, okay? And But I do like the point that's been made quite a bit lately. You know, there's one group of people that dislikes bad cops even more than any racial profile out there, any color of people out there, and that's good cops. Don't ever forget that. Because the good cops are the ones that stay, and they got to put up with the bullshit that their idiot friend or acquaintance that never should have been a cop brought onto them. You're throwing bricks at police in New York for something that happened in Minneapolis? You're throwing bricks in San Francisco at police for something that happened in Minneapolis? You're throwing bricks and breaking and torching buildings in Texas? because something happened in Minneapolis. Hell, I'd be willing to bet you don't even know anybody in Minneapolis, but you want to go out and destroy things. No, that's Antifa, and that's Black Lives Matter, okay? Black lives don't matter. If you looked on the movements, 90% of the people for Black Lives Matter are white people holding signs saying, I'm not prejudiced, Black Lives Matter. They don't know they're endorsing George Soros, they don't understand it. just the fact you specialize the black and say they matter, that's racist. It's not enough to not be prejudiced. It's not enough to not be racist. If you're just not racist and you're just not prejudiced, you're just incomplacent. This is why God gave us a new commandment. We're not under the Ten Commandments anymore because I got news for you. You can follow every one of the Ten Commandments and be one of the most racist people on earth. But you cannot. You cannot be a racist if you do the only commandment. Jesus said to his disciples, I give it unto you a new commandment that ye should love one another as I have loved you. And he went a little bit further and he said, by this love, others will know that you are mine. Folks, we're going to do a podcast on faith. We got a lead in and permission from a friend of mine that has a church in Minnesota, a dear man of God, and it's going to be a great podcast. I'll probably put that up tomorrow when I get both my phones charged up at the same time. Thanks for joining us. Have a blessed evening. Before you donate to Black Lives Matter, understand you're not helping out black people. You're helping Joe Biden get reelected. And Joe Biden is now looking at Camelia Harris. And I'll leave you with this. My favorite expression of Camelia Harris is, the only thing more precious than a newborn baby is the right to take its life. And he wants her to be our vice president. So decision making 2020 is about who you're gonna vote for, God or Satan. One is pro-life, one is pro-death. Are you a baby killer? Are you a Christian that's walked away and needs to get back and vote with their God conscience? What would God have you to do? Have a blessed evening. Thanks so much. Don't forget to pray for our president. Like, share, subscribe. Give me a comment. If you liked it, if you hate it, either way, let me know so I can improve or do something better or different. Have a blessed day. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon. We're out.